Hello the internet and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Angel Bobs. So in today's episode I've, um, I'm going to show you some of the progress I've made recently and it's been going pretty well I have to say. Uh, so the main thing I've done recently is I've, uh, I've, now, I've now got green circuits being produced automatically as you can see here and that's required um, a few extra components to be added to my base. So let's have a look down here somewhere, yes here we go. This, this area is building up my lithium ion batteries so that was one of the things we need for the uh, for these um, what's, what's known for these for these circuits we've got as usual I've got the stations racked up across here and they're all feeding down in, into the um, into this sort of mini bus area as it's um, <laughs> mini bus uh, um, area in, in, in the pretty much the standard way. Um, we've got uh, basically work, working through, through, through it now. Originally, I started off making this, making the um, the lithium from the brown algae, which is what I was growing it for up here, and why I was feeding it off with two separate stations to the uh, the brown algae and the green algae. Uh, the green I was just going to use for fertilizer, the brown I wanted to use for lithium. So that was the plan. It turns out, though, it takes quite a lot of brown algae to produce any lithium at all. I mean, there's 17 in this machine, and it's, that isn't enough for it to trigger. So I think it's about it's obviously about 20, 25, something like that. And so that was just not working at all. So I decided, it turns out there's another recipe for um, making, making lithium, and that uses the old favourite of thermal water. So I've got some of that being brought in here. This washing plant makes it into... Um, lithia water and uh, purified water and then somehow you pump the uh, lithia water into these uh, into these blast furnace into these um, steel furnaces i'm not quite sure how that works maybe it sprays it around on the inside and it evaporates off the water part and you end up end up with the lithia lithium so that's then passed down here in the usual sort of ways you pass down through various machines made into i don't know what all these different things are some sort of lithium salts and then this this one's actually making lithium bar this one's making lithium perchloride i think those are fed up here and it looks like the lithium bar isn't actually being created quickly enough at the moment so I'm going to need to come down and have a look at this. Actually, I don't think I need to even look at this, I just need to copy and paste this and possibly work out why this isn't going fast enough as well. It's because I haven't got any thermal water. Okay, so in the in the uh, Factorio tradition of finding out where the problem is and then working backwards from it, I need more thermal water. So we've got, we've got the, uh, the mine up here which is chugging away reasonably happily. But these tanks are all empty and these tankers aren't filling up very quickly so that's just going to sit there gradually filling up until it's until the time has passed so i think this means i need to find another thermal water mine um i had a quick look around for this because uh, I, was, I was aware it was going to be a problem the easiest one to get at at the moment seems to probably be this one here which is a, a decent size um and not behind too many aliens so i guess i rock up here with the artillery train put in some more plasma turrets and make and uh, claim probably straight across here from this one just just claim this this area here so that's not too bad the problem is there there's another one out here but that's a bit a bit further out into enemy territory that one down there yeah so there are there are more but there aren't any that are particularly accessible uh, that's getting a bit smaller because it's closer to the origin so yeah I think that one is the one to go for. this the one over here is is the one to go for I think so that's not going to be too difficult. I'll do that before the next episode. So that was one of the things we need for the green circuits. Then there's the low density structures. They're quite straightforward to make. It's just a case of feeding in um, plastic, titanium and aluminium, which again has run out. So um, yeah, it turns out low density structures are extremely hungry on aluminium. It takes them like 20 of it. 20 of them, 20 of it, I think. Um, check. Yeah, 20 aluminium plates and two titanium and five plastic. So this is getting through aluminium at a hell of a rate, uh, as you can tell by the fact that it's just completely and utterly stalled. Uh, let's see how we're doing over here with the aluminium production. It, yeah, okay. So it's it's going, it's being used up faster than I can produce it at the moment. So that's another concern. I'm going to have to see if I can come up with some way to to speed this up a bit and it seems like the way to speed this up is to actually get the jiva light coming in at a decent rate because that is a massive bottleneck there and that is running slowly because we have more fluoric waste water than we know what to do with okay so i'm gonna have to start dumping fluoric waste water in fact i already am dumping fluoric waste water i'm gonna have to do that more just because there's, there's there's just too much of it coming in okay so those two are in theory working as long as they can obtain sufficient resources from elsewhere to actually, you know, just keep running. Oops. So that's working well. I'm bringing all that 
I say well, working fairly well, bringing all that up. I have a complete. I've discovered I have a complete inability to put inserters in the right way around. So you see these. These are all. Yeah. So they're all pulling out of these these crates into here, and then out of the out of this carriage in back into these crates. So that needs fixing. Um, I'm kind of tempted to do that now. I'm running slowly. Ah, oh, yes, another thing I did. Now that I've got green science, is I've invented, I've researched pure portable fusion reactors. Problem is, they're too big for this armor for me to have that and a decent number of exoskeletons in there at the same time. So it is, I'm still a bit slow, but at least I can charge up the batteries quickly when I'm not using them for anything else. Uh, where's my train? Oh, yes, here. I keep forgetting that I can tell the train to come to me rather than me going to the train, at least if I'm anywhere near uh, any, any railway lines. Right, let's get up here, sort that out. So, while I'm training around, training up, up there, this is all working quite. Uh, it's all basically working. We've got a, a, we've got a quantity of the uh, low density circuits, blue circuit uh, structures. The blue circuits are fine. Batteries are okay for now. We've got electric engines coming in as well. Titanium, silicon, coal, and then these green circuits are on the way uh, coming back out of here. Right, so let's fix those. And those are all okay. Good. Right, so what we're doing up here is we're making the carbon in the normal way to feed to the silicon processing machine. Silicon ingots turned into silicon powder, combined with nitrogen turned into silicon nitrate. It's either nitrate or nitrite, I forget which. That's all passed up to these assembly machines, which are churning out um, green science packs at a, an, an appropriate rate. And they're all, they're all. Why aren't these running? I've clearly. <laughs> I do check these things a little bit before I start recording. Honest, Gov. Uh, why do you not? What are you not happy about? You don't have any low density structures because these are all the wrong way around. Okay, I'll um, just fix this. Right. There we go. It's another 50% on my uh, green circuit production speed. So that's that's reasonably straightforward. There's a bit of funky pipe work going on to get the uh, lube to these um, titanium um, bearing machines. But basically, it's, it's all it's all pretty straightforward stuff. I've not done anything too too drastically different there. The hardest part of this, by a significant margin, uh, was making the. Um... Excuse me while I move my train. <laughs> uh, the hardest part of this, by a significant margin, was making the uh, lithium-ion batteries. They were they they were quite complicated, <laughs> to say the least. Um, which is why I did this down here. Well, one of the reasons, there's two reasons I did this down here as a separate thing. One is because it's quite complicated and I wanted to have it separate. And the other reason is because there's quite a lot of other stuff that requires lithium ion batteries. So I'm going to have to make them somewhere in order to ship them out to various other buses and m m facilities and whatnots and this and that and the others. This is. So I thought it makes more sense to have it in one single place and then ship them all out by train from there rather than trying to build this factory twice. That said, if I had built it twice, I'd probably built it better or more expandably the second time round. Who knows? Um, the only real problem with it is that it produces uh, purified water far um, more, produces more purified water than it uses up. So tanks fill up, which is why I've got this um, clarifier getting rid of some of it. Okay, I think that's everything I really need to say about that. I I had a bit of a power generation problem, so I've um, expanded my uh, solar solar arrays a bit here. How are we doing now? Uh, why are these? I've oh no, I've screwed this up. <laughs> oh dear. The idea of this was supposed to be that all of these would be close enough together, just that they'd all link up. I seem to have screwed that up. So let's put some pylons in along the bottom of here. Oh, I don't believe it. Right, I think that's probably going to get them all. Um, so power generation is now mostly back over to solar panels again. Um, when I, it turns out when I start using the bots very heavily, I get these massive spikes on the robot ports, um, which is a bit ridiculous. But it, uh, um, yeah, it, just, it pushes my power out of uh, um, power supplies out of, out of whack for a while. Uh, I need, obviously need to put in a lot more solar panels, but they're being built over here on the old bus and not at a particularly high rate. So I'll let that um, chug away for a while before I do another big push out, especially as I've, I've got enough of the, the steady state of the base now. So that's going OK. Um, I got a bit fed up with crushed stone building up in certain stations like um, this one here 
was absolutely full. I don't know if I talked about, I can't remember if I talked about this in the last episode, because all of the crushed stone supplies for the places that needed it, like building the um, catalyst, was coming from here. So all the other ones were filling up. So what I've done is I've made this thing here, which is supposed to be an essentially bottomless pit for dumping in crushed stone. And the trains are coming in, dumping it into the chest and then going off and getting some more. That's all then being dumped into these warehouses, which are filling up remarkably quickly, actually. Um, and of course, I'm turning it into um, what do you call it? Um, into, into catalyst through here as well. That's a full purple belt going straight into here. By the way, that's um, a lot. <laughs> it's getting so yeah, it's getting used up pretty quickly, but not as quickly as it's coming in. So I may need to I don't know put even more warehouses in here. I I, I don't know. Maybe I'll start turning it into into bricks and, and start paving the entire base again because I, I mean, in theory I'm supposed to be yeah I'm supposed to be not using the thermal water for this anymore but it looks like I am still I think the um, this isn't just simply isn't fast enough I need even more 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 so yeah that's something I'll, that's something I'll take a look at maybe feed another purple belt into this. Um, and in, 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 in have some more of these chemical plants. Uh, doing anything with crushed stone seems to be a, a slow process just because there's so much of it that has to be passed around because there's not very much interesting and useful stuff in it. <laughs> the final thing I've done recently is added another... This is this over here, as you may remember, is my um, metal processing facility. If I turn station names on, it becomes a little bit, a little bit more obvious. So before we had this producing steel at a, a rate, um, gold, aluminium, and now I've added in cobalt as well because I was getting endless flashes in the in this from the, from the LTN saying you couldn't find any cobalt, um, any cobalt steel specifically actually. So I built this up. It's now producing cobalt um, ingots that are going out here, being mixed with steel. Not as much steel as I'd like. The steel is coming out quite slowly. The problem is it takes huge amounts of iron to produce steel. And you can see this is this belt is running fairly quickly. Um, there's a full belt of Jeevalite and a full belt of Styrotite coming in, it's still not quite enough coming through here, and then there's this gentle trickle of iron coming out on both ingots and, and plates. Now plates seem to be okay, we've got 130,000 over here, but the um, the steel that's being turned into cobalt steel is a bit lacking. We've got okay, 18,000 actually, that's, that's doing okay. So yeah, alright, I take it back. It's it's not a huge amount of it, but it's it, it's enough for now. Right, that I think pretty much covers it. Um, as I said, I've got, I've got I feel like I've got quite a lot done over the last um, few however long it's been since I had last had an episode. I still haven't moved the um, inserters over here. Uh, I seem to put in some power pole creation uh, building over here. I don't remember whether I told you about that or not. Uh, but now we're going. Up yeah, I think I just wanted to move it off the other um, other bus. So that's there. Um, I think that's about it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to work on next, to be honest. I think I'm going to start looking into the green research, see what I'm missing in there, uh, see what I can, or rather see what I can create from there, and, and then just sort of try and try and push towards the rocket. I know I haven't got tungsten yet, so that's going to be or uh, or purple circuit. So those are going to be some things I might want to try and add on here, onto this bus, which is going to push it even further up this way, no doubt. Other than that, I'd quite like to make the next level up of. Um, of, of uh, construction and, and logistics robots, although I've done a load of the um, worker robot speed upgrades, and now they're actually pretty quick. It's uh, it's quite it's impressive how quickly they built up this solar array down here, for example, and and how how fast they're moving when they're bringing things to me. I also want to get some of the higher tiers of armor because just so that I can put more um, exoskeletons in and move around a bit faster. After that, well, I guess we'll see how it goes because, as I say, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure what I want, to, what I need to do next. Um, I'm going to have to have a look into that. But I shall uh, once once I've worked it out, I shall report back, and I hope you come back for that. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.